Speaking of eating out, restaurants showing resilience. Philadelphia eateries are dealing with now a one-two punch. First, it's the pandemic, and secondly, more hoops to jump through from a soaker of a tropical storm. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed live in Spring Garden with a look at how some are managing. Hi, Alicia. That's right, Joe. The weather has cleared up, and now restaurants are doing everything they can to ensure open spaces like this are ready for their customers. Patrons are enjoying their food and drinks at freshly minted Spring Garden restaurant Juno. The outdoor venue was set to open May 1st, but a construction delay due to COVID-19 shutdown pushed the date back. Anticipation led to a completely booked evening. With health and safety as their primary focus, reservations are spread out. I think that people are really understanding in this time with all the practices and policies going on. We have full reservation books and we're excited for uh, what the future brings. Over in Center City, Mission Techeria finally got a permit for outdoor seating. They now have 80 tables compared to the 120 they have upstairs. The owner had to order lights, tablecloths, chairs, and everything that comes with outdoor seating. The garage across the street is also helping out, allowing them to use their lower level to seat customers. Although the first day was washed out by yesterday's rain, the owner says it's nice to have that connection with the community once again. It feels just good to be serving people again. Like it's, you, you don't realize how much you miss the hospitality aspect of your job until everyone's gone. Okay, so we have COVID, a partial lockdown, and a tropical storm that passed through the area. But clearly, people want to be out, so they're going to do it whenever they get the chance. Reporting live from Spring Garden, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Sounds like a good time there, Alicia. Thank you for that live report.